I hope you are having a great day. I am so excited about today's video. We are going to be making a quinoa fruit bowl with vegan chocolate. OMG, how amazing is that? So our main ingredient is going to be quinoa. Wow. And as you can see on the little package that I have here, it tells you how to pronounce it. Now, please don't be like me. I used to say like, kina. I'm going to make some kina today. <laughs> don't do that. That's not how you pronounce it. It's quinoa. Um, and quinoa is so good, you guys. Um, it's actually healthier than a lot of other grains. Um, this is a whole grain, um, which is very healthy for you. It means that nothing was taken out of the seed and the seed is completely intact. Um, it's also gluten-free. It's a wonderful source of fiber, so it keeps you really full for a long time. And it has just a bunch of other benefits. So I would suggest that you guys do some research on quinoa if you don't know anything about it. Um, also, we're going to be using a bunch of other ingredients, but this breakfast bowl is very simple and easy to make, and it's healthy, nutritious, and delicious. So what more can you ask for, right? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, you guys, so here are our ingredients. They are very easy to find. Um, a lot of these are organic, so very healthy. This meal is going to be so nutritious and delicious. It's gonna be so unbelievable. So let me go over the ingredients so you guys can see exactly what I'm using. First of all, we are going to do one tablespoon of the private selection 100% pure maple syrup. And I definitely tend to stay away from any syrups with high fructose corn syrup. Uh, it's just very, very bad for you. So I always get the 100% pure maple syrup. Then we're going to do one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And this is just regular cinnamon. Then we're going to do organic raw honey. We're going to do one tablespoon of this. And I've been doing a lot of research on raw honey, you guys, and it has so many benefits. I've also been using this as a face scrub, so I'll do another video on that. But I love, love, love organic raw honey, and it's just a lot better for you than those little, like, little bear jars that you see in the local grocery store for like three or four dollars this is definitely a little bit more expensive but it's certainly worth it honey is a great antioxidant and if you get it raw it even it has even more benefits for you then for one of our toppings i'm going to be doing 100 percent organic shredded coconut i love coconut there's so many health benefits to coconut as well so i'll talk about that in another video okay so flax seed is a great source of fiber as well so we're going to do one tablespoon of fat and then we have our organic dole strawberries and strawberries are great um really high in, in antioxidants and some studies even say that it lowers your risk of heart attacks. It also is really good, you guys, for keeping your teeth um, like really healthy. So it fights tooth decay as well as gum disease. So awesome benefits. And then we have um, an organic banana. So I'm going to do one banana. And bananas are great, it, um, very high sources of potassium, and also they're heart healthy fruits. They're low in sodium, which helps to lower your blood pressure. So there we have it. We have strawberries, we have our vegan chocolate, dairy free, love it. We have uh, our 100% pure maple syrup, cinnamon, coconut, 
shredded coconut, our silk almond coconut blend, then our flax seed, and our organic raw honey. So those are our ingredients. Okay guys, so before you get started on this part, you're going to want to make sure you wash your hands. Um, and as you can see, I'm using the Vigo Imported Quinoa. And as you can see at the bottom, it is organic. So I try to use organic um, whenever possible. And what I did is I've already pour, poured about one third into my little measuring cup. Um, I'm not going to eat that much and it's just for me, but if you guys are, um, you know, cooking for two, three, four people, um, then definitely um, pour more into your measuring cup. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the quinoa into a bowl, like so. And the purpose of this, as you can see, it's all in a bowl now. And we're basically going to like want to pick out any like odd colored um, pieces that we see. Um, so you know how like sometimes with rice or something like you can get some odd colored pieces. Um, so, you know, of course, after you wash your hands, just look through the bowl and pick out some pieces. Like you can see there's like a little pink piece here that I'm gonna grab. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you're going to want to do. And after you're done doing that, make sure you rinse, rinse the quinoa really, really well. And then um, after it's rinsed, we're going to pour it into our um, pots. Okay guys, so now that the quinoa is rinsed, you're going to want to pour it into um, a pot, like so. Um, and just let it like simmer for a little bit and this is going to be to get the water out. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and pour your almond coconut milk into your measuring cup. Um, and I love to use the silk um, milk and it has like an almond coconut blend already mixed in for you, which is super duper easy. I love it. But if you guys buy, you know, like the almond milk and then the coconut milk separate, you can just um, mix them together. So then after you mix them um, together, if you're buying them, them separate, just pour um, the milk into your pot and then we're going to, um, and you're going to want to make sure it covers like all of the quinoa. So I may need a little bit more milk. Um, and then we're going to just, um, let it pretty much cook for about 25 minutes. Okay guys, so my quinoa is ready and now I'm ready to mix in some of the other ingredients. So I have my quinoa here and I am going to just do a tablespoon of the maple syrup. And you basically just pour it right into the pot. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of the cinnamon. Okay. And then I'm also going to do some flax seeds. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of the flax seeds. my strawberries and my bananas. 
So um, I'm going to be adding that on top of the bowl when I'm done. Okay guys, so now that I poured in the syrup as well as the cinnamon, I took um, a tablespoon of my honey and I poured it in as you can see. And we're just gonna like mix it around in the pot. Um, and as you can see, I still have a little bit of the almond coconut milk in there because I kind of like mine to be like creamy and like thin. But if you like yours thicker, um, just use less milk. And so we mix it up in there until everything's uh, really blended together. Okay, you guys, so I poured some of my quinoa into a bowl and look at how delicious that looks. And now I'm going to go over here and grab some of my fruit and chocolate and just like garnish the bowl with it. And you guys can really use any type of fruit that you want. I just happen to love um, like strawberries and bananas. Um, but you know, definitely experiment. So just like putting the strawberries around the bowl. And then we're going to do like the same thing with the banana and I just like love bananas so this is going to be so good. I'm so excited. And then we get to sprinkle on the chocolate. OMG. Look at how good that looks, you guys. I didn't really measure my chocolate, you guys. But, you know, just use whatever um, amount you want. And then... I'm going to get some of my coconut and I love coconut so I'm just gonna like sprinkle a little bit on top of there it's so good and look at how amazing that looks tell me that doesn't look awesome and now you get your spoon and you are ready to eat there it is there is our finished product. It looks so scrumptious. I cannot wait to eat this, you guys. And this was so quick and easy to make. Just follow the recipe. I'm sure, I'm so sure that you guys will love it as well. It's completely vegan, it's healthy, it's nutritious, and it's delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you did give it a thumbs up. And also remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.